Hey everyone, this is Chris. Uh, this week I'm bringing you another Sylvan deck. I wanted to see if I could use Elf Friend as effectively with the sort of original Sylvan heroes, uh, Kettleborn and Galadriel. Uh, we do have Biffer in here in order to allow me to effectively use Unlikely Friendship. Uh, and I'm going to play an old classic, Journey Along the Anduin, which has caused me to include a couple of cards that I do not normally play. Uh, so if you see me use Test of Will in order to protect against Necromancer's Reach, well, you know why. And I just realized I haven't moved this mouse out of the way. So let's just do that now. <laughs> All right, I did my setup. So we flipped to stage 1B. We got the hill troll already. Uh, I think at this point we are ready to go. Draw my card for the turn. Oh, speaking of unlikely friendship, let's do that first. Uh, and now I have Elven King in hand, which is great. Uh, I have two Sylvan. I think I will add the resource to Galadriel. So I'll spend one off Kelborn for the Elven King. Uh, so he can ready himself and contribute to combat. I'll spend two off of Galadriel for uh, Handmaiden. Dropping my threat to 26. Uh, this deck is gonna be interesting. It has a lot of ways to reduce threat. And quite frankly, I think that would be better for a quest where I didn't have to fight a hill troll or possibly two. Uh, but you know, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, so, for questing, I will send three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, and I can make it nine with an Elrond's Council. This drops my threat even further. Up against one, uh, we might just make all the progress we need right now. But we don't, so keep a tidy six progress. Uh, and I will use Galadriel to <laughs> draw a card and drop my threat even further. Now, two feigned voices in my hand is quite nice. So, <laughs> Refresh takes us all the way up to the lofty heights of 23 threat. Uh, if I had thought a little more, maybe I would have turned this into a secrecy deck. But I don't think we're going to really stay there for very long. I'll get my resources, draw my card for the round. All right, and there we go. That is a phenomenal thing to see. Uh, I spend one for Galadrim Weaver, which shuffles this Elrond's Council back into my deck. Uh, I'm gonna try very hard not to play any more events for a little bit, because I would really like to shuffle that unlikely friendship back in as well. I'm gonna save these three resources I have Treebeard in my hand. I have Nath Guide, which I can use next round. So let's go for it. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, up against three yet again. Hey, Eastern Crows, that surges into a, uh, I swear I shuffled these, but that's all right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I will make three progress. In the old corset classic. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm not going to engage any enemies this round. Uh, we will use Galadriel to draw a card and drop my threat. And it is Elrond's Council again. Uh, but before the round is over, I will use Elven King to pop this Weaver back into my hand. So, Refresh takes us all the way up to a lofty 23 threat. Admittedly, this array of enemies is looking a little bit dangerous, but we have the willpower to push past it for right now. Oh boy. All right. 
Well, I know I said I didn't want to play anything else until I had put this unlikely friendship back in the deck, so that's what I'm going to do. So Galadrim Weaver to shuffle this back in. I drew another one. So there's going to be more fuel for Celeborn very soon. Uh, and I should definitely have enough resources to pay for Treebeard this round. It's a bit of a shame that he doesn't synergize with Galadriel, but you know, oh well. Small price to pay for probably the best ally in the game. Uh, yeah, like I said, unlikely friendship uh, draws me a card. Darren's runes is nice. Uh, let's put that resource on Celeborn. So, going to spend two for a Nath guide. Uh, so Celeborn does not have to exhaust, commit to the quest. And I will use four for this tree beard that I mentioned. I should actually choose Biffer with Nath Guide uh, because I want to keep readying Celeborn with the Elven King. So let's quest three, four, five, six, seven. Um, do I want to use the Weaver? Yeah, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Up against six. Hey, a location. All right, up against seven means I make four progress. And at some point, I'm going to regret tracking all of these, but that's okay. I will travel to Banks of the Anduin. It's a very safe place to go. Uh, I will use Elven King to ready Celeborn, pick this Weaver back up. And I will use Galadriel to tick down to 22 and draw myself a card. Before refresh happens and then I tick back up to 23. <laughs> well, it's all right. I do have uh, Elrond's Council in my hand, so I can definitely drop my thread all the way down to 20. Draw a card for the turn. There's a good one to see. Uh, I just picked up Test of Will, uh, which with the sort of looping engine that we have going right now should allow us to stay pretty safe as long as I don't use it. Of course, the problem is I really want to play Galadrim Weaver right now, uh, but maybe that's okay. I'll play this Weaver to shuffle Unlikely Friendship back into the deck, uh, and we will just be shields down for a turn. I mean, really, the only thing that would be any sort of blowout at all uh, is Necromancer's Reach, and the Weaver would survive because she won't be exhausted. So, like, I can rebuild from pretty much anything as long as we stall forever. And if that happens, I'm actually going to stop this recording because I am not going to play a three-hour marathon <laughs> journey along the Anduin <laughs> where we empty all the decks uh, with Sylvan Recycling. But uh, let's quest. So... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven with Elrond's Council down to twenty. All right, eleven up against yet again six. Hey, there it is. <laughs> All right, well, that's unfortunate because it costs me three, brings me down to only eight willpower. Uh, but eight against six is still two progress, and I do have to put one damage on two of these heroes. I'm not going to engage any of these enemies. All right, so I'll use Galadriel to drop my threat to draw a card, uh, and I'm just going to track this by not raising my threat during the refresh phase. I've gotten tired of ticking that thing up and down already. Um, I have four attack, 
So let's engage these eastern crows. It's very, very exciting eastern crows. I mean, this is just gonna shuffle them back in though. Maybe I just won't kill them. Defend with Treebeard, Eastern Crows. Oh, I forget what this shadow does. Removes a progress token. Tragedy. Yeah, and let us leave it at that for now. So going on to round five, not taking up my threat. Everybody refreshes. Keep these crows. Draw my card. Well, extra Elven King is not super helpful. Um, let me play Darren's Runes. Draw to pitch this copy of the Elven King. I'll pay two for a Gladra Minstrel. Looking at the top five. Hmm. Scene one, Necromancer's Reach. Uh, let me take Elrond's Council. And I'm gonna slightly wish that uh, we were playing one of those nice games that didn't force you to reshuffle after you search the top cards. That's okay. Uh, and I will spend two for a bum, 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 bum. Nath guide. Uh, picking Biffer does not have to exhaust yet again. I'm going to save this resource on Galadriel, do my best to keep one up for test of will when I need it. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 with Elrond's Council drops my threat all the way down to 17 up against 5 so 11 against 5 Evil Storm does absolutely nothing probably forever 11 against 5 is 6 progress 1 here 5 on the main quest Banks of the Anduin back on top yeah that's what happens Eastern Crows gets this as a shadow effect. Uh, so honestly, I can defend with literally anything like this Galadra Minstrel. Look, it's Banks of the Andron. Uh, Nath God kills the... Uh, let's leave the Crows. I don't, I don't think I need to kill them. I will use Elven King to pull back the Weaver. And I will use Galadriel to drop my threat and draw a card, counteracting the refresh. Uh, yeah. All right, so moving on to the next round. I am actually using the Healing Sylvan ally in this deck as well, which is definitely a first for me. I'm not convinced that that is going to be very good. But regardless, I have an unlikely friendship, draws me a card, puts a resource on Galadriel. She might always be the best because of these Galadrim Weavers, which I will actually play two of this round, shuffling unlikely friendship and Elrond's Council back into the deck. And with one of everything else, I think I'm probably done for this round. Um, could Gandalf next round deal with the Hill Troll that way? But I might rather have more willpower on the board before we get to that point. It's not like this loop is going to stop anytime soon. So, questing. Three, four, five... Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have test of will with the resource to pay for it. Eleven on five. Well, that's a surge. Eleven on six, seven, eight. 
11 on 8 is 3 progress. 1 and 2 more. I am forced to engage this wolf rider. So, shadow, shadow. Uh, let me bounce back a weaver to ready Kelleborn. I'm going to have Kelleborn defend Eastern Crows. No shadow, no damage. Uh, Tribute can defend and ready and fight back. Or I could feigned voices and pick back up. A Sylvan. Uh, yeah, let me do that. I'll feign voices on that enemy, picking up this Galadra Minstrel. Shadow effect is another Necromancer's Reach. So now there's one left that I might have to worry about. And we'll just have Treebeard kill the Wolf Rider. Yeah, sounds good. Before refresh, Galadriel draws me a card. Tree people is nice. On to round number seven. Draw a card for the turn. All right, so the timing of this is kind of annoying. I think I want to spend one for the weaver. Shuffle feigned voices back into the deck before I play Unlikely Friendship. Uh, I'm more likely to draw that for safety. As well, uh, should be no problems to pick back up more weavers and <laughs> shuffle that Unlikely Friendship back into the deck. I don't really want to put the Elven King back, even though it's trapping a couple of Sylvan allies. Uh, so let me use Tree People, picking up one of these Weavers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. See what we get. Well, oh, Gandalf is not a Sylvan. Oh, I just missed. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, but it's okay, because Tree People is not as good as Unlikely Friendship. So when I play this Unlikely Friendship to draw a card and put a resource on Galadriel, I can then spend one to put the Weaver back into play and shuffle it back into my deck. Can also spend two for that Galadrum healer that I mentioned. It clears up my heroes just fine. I think I'm gonna slide one of these leadership resources over to Biffer so that we're in better shape for next round. All right, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. committed to the quest. Up against seven. Not currently committed to the quest is two. That's fine. I can tick up to a whopping 19 threat. All right, 11 against seven. Once again, is for progress. I think I want to get these wargs out. So I will have Galadrim Healer defend against Eastern Crows. Uh, two defense is pretty good, and the Brownlands means nothing. And I will use Feigned Voices to pick back up a Weaver and feint this Wargs. So it doesn't get a chance to pop back into the staging area when its shadow card has no effect and Treebeard can destroy them. Gladriel draws me a card and skips the refresh penalty. 
Uh, and I don't need to Elven King pick up this Weaver. So we're moving on. Oh my card for the round. I, I feel pretty sure at this point that I'm going to win this quest uh, because it's a little bit old and <laughs> The the Sylvan bouncing, recurring Galadrum Weaver, uh, feigned voices, unlikely friendship loop is quite strong, it feels. And this Galadrum Weaver to shuffle the feigned voices back. Uh, the problem is, I don't know how interested I am in sitting here forever, or how interested you are in sitting here forever. do have two, so let me play this minstrel. Look at the top, one, two, three, four, five. Double feigned voices, Elrond's council. I'll take the voices. Uh, in other unrelated news, 20 plus minutes into this video, I uh, bought my hotel for Gen Con this week. Uh, my housing lottery time was something like 1.30 in the afternoon. And honestly, I decided it wasn't worth waiting for that. Uh, and I will use tree people picking back up. Um, uh, let's grab this Nath guide because I can play the Nath guide again. Yeah, actually, I'll take Orphan. That's a good choice um, because it allows me to get back this Handmaiden uh, whose willpower and threat reduction is probably the most valuable that we're going to get. Not to mention that Orphan himself contributes to attack, which is something that the deck kind of desperately needs if we're going to do anything to the Hill Troll. It's a shame that Treebeard can't use his resources for uh, Gandalf. All right. Anyway, with all of those things done, uh, let's spend two, put in a Nath guide. I will choose Biffer, who does not have to exhaust. So, questing uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like one of these this round, right? So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Against five. <laughs> against six. All right, well, that means eight more progress. Uh, and at this point, I've run out of the green dice that I grabbed. So we're just not going to get any more. I do have enough to smack a beast master. So let me pull one of those down this round. All right, let's let's see. Bifford defend against these crows. Uh, Eastern crows as a shadow does nothing to him. Dog older beast master. Uh, I'll defend with Treebeard and ready him immediately. Attacking enemy gets plus one. Well, that's unfortunate because I have no way of healing that damage. <laughs> so I guess we're eventually going to let Treebeard die and shuffle him back into the deck. And honestly, at this point, let's six to kill a Beastmaster. And I think it might be better for me to finally get rid of these. No, that's dumb. I have plenty of defense for the crows. It's no big deal. Uh, so let's just go Adriel to draw a card. <laughs> Move on to the next round. Yep, yep, yep. And tribute up to four. And I draw another card. All right, swapped over to a new video file just as we enter into planning. 
I think I'm gonna Darren's Runes right now, draw two cards. Well, that's a fun one. Uh, and out of all of these, I'll discard this second Darren's Runes because they are really not doing me any good. I will play a uh, Galleon, who is absolutely perfect for the Elven King loop. Uh, if I don't need to Weaver anything, I will play Unlikely Friendship to draw a card and put a resource on a hero. Uh, um, okay, I will play Unlikely Friendship to draw a card and put a resource on a hero, uh, which is going to be Biffer. I'll use those two off of Biffer to play a Minstrel, searching the top five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh, do I? Yeah, I'm gonna take this unlikely friendship. So we're good for a couple of turns. Just have to, to cycle these weavers. Play a third unlikely friendship, draw a card. Well, extra galleon is not very useful. Uh, but I will put this resource on. Put this one on Caliborn. Spend. Now I'm going to leave those resources on Galadriel because I want to cycle very effectively. Uh, let's see, let's do some math. If I pop in a Gandalf and I feign voice as a hill troll, uh, two, four, eight, 12 is enough. I have a second Gandalf for a future round, but I have to shuffle him back in with the first Weaver combo. Uh, but I think that's probably okay. All right, so let's do this now. Oh, we're going to Gandalf. Um, and honestly, given where we're at, I think what I'm going to do is... Let me put four damage on a hill troll that I am not going to engage this round. Uh, just to sort of make this a little easier to do in the next one. And we will quest uh, three, four, five. We'll save these two. Ooh, but I don't have test of will. So five, uh, Gandalf makes it nine. Galleon, 10, 11. Uh, and I added one of these minstrels this round. So that is 13. Assuming I'm counting this correctly. All right, Massing at Night is dumb if you're playing solo. 13 up against five is way too much progress that I'm not tracking. So travel to the East Bite, no problems. Optionally engage a Hill Troll. Shadow, Shadow. Uh, Treebeard will defend this Eastern Crows just to Take one more damage. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to play Fain Voices, picking up Galadrim Weaver so the troll does not attack. I'm also going to use Elven King, picking up this other Weaver uh, to ready Yellowborn. So, like I said, 2, 4, 8, 12 is enough to kill this troll. Well, Pursued by Shadow is an annoying shadow effect, but not a very bad one. Uh, and that sends this hill troll to the victory display. Yep, and Gandalf is going to go away at the end of the round. Uh, Galadriel draws me another card instead of raising my threat. So... <laughs> We're still at 19. The Sylvan army is not as big as it could be. Uh, and one hill troll down. 
Drawing a card, generating some more resources. Actually, the bigger challenge that I don't really want to play anything right now. I want to start cycling cards back into the deck, and I need Necromancer's Reach Protection. So we'll just save for this round. All right, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, tribute should be at three resources. Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Up against three, four, five, six. All right, eleven against six is five progress. I have to get another die. And I am forced to engage the Misty Mountain Goblins. So, Treebeard, defend the Misty Mountain Goblins. Goblin Sniper Gone is nice. I do have a healer in my hand, right? I thought I did. Oh no, she's on the table. Um. Let me pick up Galleon to ready Caliborn so he can defend the Eastern Crows. Enchanted Stream is no shadow. Uh, and Treebeard readying is enough to kill these goblins. Yep, sounds good. Uh, Glacial draws me another card into my palatial hand. Tick up to around 11. Resources, 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 resources. Card for the turn. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, all right, so we're gonna play Galleon again. Uh, we're gonna play a Weaver, shuffling Gandalf back into the deck. Uh, I really just want to dig until the feigned voices can go back in. So maybe it's worth going down to no test of will support right now. I'll spend one more for a second weaver, which I should have done first. Yes, I can afford to play nothing from my hand, uh, but that's okay, because I can quest for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, up against four. We'll pretend that works and just remove a bunch of these. All right, eleven against four is seven progress. One more on the East Bite. And the six more that were just removed from to the river. So I think we're doing all right. Do I want to engage the second Eastern Crows? I think maybe I do not. Yeah, I think I don't. Uh, so I will return a Weaver to my hand to ready Kelborn. Use Galadriel to draw a card and stall my threat. There's feigned voices. <laughs> Moving on to round 12. If you are the sort of person that keeps score when you play Lord of the Rings, I do not recommend <laughs> this style of deck. Uh, and here's a card that I absolutely should have swapped for a different one. Uh, this Nenya is not very useful, given how much willpower the Sylvan can produce. And uh, instead, if I had a Song of Travel, Grant Spirit Access, I could cycle these Weavers much more effectively. Regardless, here is a Weaver shuffling Friendship back into the deck. I had an Enya in because I was concerned that at first uh, the willpower might start out a little slow. 
and being able to use Galadriel to add four is quite strong. Even though the threat reduction and card draw is stronger. Do I want to Gandalf? I think not yet. Move one of these over to Biffer. Uh, I have a Furial in my hand, which is going to be even more amazing uh, once we get there. So committing to the quest, uh, three, four, five, played one of these. So six, seven, uh, we will make it, uh, yeah, no, let's do six, seven. Seven committed to the quest up against Four, seven against six is one progress that I don't care about. Uh, all right, before travel, I will Galadriel to draw a card and draw my threat. Island of In Perils is fun, but not amazing. I will travel to Enchanted Stream. Oh no, I can't draw cards. I will engage this Eastern Crows uh, just to get it out of the staging area, I think, for now. Uh, bounce a Weaver to ready Kelleborn. Kelleborn will defend one of the Crows. Take no damage. East Bite. Uh, have Treebeard defend another one. Also no damage. Uh, and we'll just leave those two where they are. Yep, sounds good. Taking up round 13. Don't draw a card. I do generate some resources. Have a palatial hand. I don't really have any better way of putting this. Uh, we're gonna spend five off of Biffer for Furial. And one off of Galadriel to put a Weaver back, to shuffle in another unlikely friendship. Deck is getting pretty small. It's like real talk. Eh, my hand is not quite as big as the deck. Uh, three, four, five. There's only three in the staging area. Uh, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, up against three. All right, so 10 against five is five progress. Clears out both of these. I do have to deal with two Eastern Crows attacks, so I will ready Kelleborn by bouncing a Weaver. He will defend one. Evil Storm is no damage. Treebeard will defend another. Ah, uh, Wargs is not enough. At this point with the encounter deck so small, I don't want to kill them. So Galatriel draws me a card, Test of Will drops my threat so that when I move on, nothing happens. All right, draw my card for the round. Starting to get those unlikely friendships back I'll play an unlikely French um, actually not do that yet spend one uh, where did I put the weaver that I just bounced play a weaver put the unlikely friendship back in the deck Now I can start drawing cards. So here's a friendship that draws a card and puts a resource on Galadriel. Here's a friendship that draws a card, puts a resource on Galadriel. Have Fane Voices, have Island Amid Perils. 
Um, I think I'm just going to play a third Weaver for the round, shuffling this friendship back. And at this point, I think what I'm going to do is spend five for Gandalf again. Uh, and I'm going to choose drawing three cards. All right. Uh, save friendship for after Gandalf so I can cycle a little better. I basically don't need to make any progress right now. So here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, 12 with Fury All so that I get first refusal on the encounter deck. Gladden Fields is fine. All right, so uh, 5, 8, 12. Plenty of progress. I will travel to Gladden Fields. I will optionally engage this wounded hill troll. We'll deal out many shadow cards. One, two, three. Uh, Elven King bounce is a Weaver to ready Kelleborn. Kelleborn defends a Crows, taking no damage. I can't have Galleon defend. Uh, so I will have this Healer defend another Crow, taking no damage. And I will, where'd it go? There it is, Fain Voices picking up a Weaver. So this Hill Troll does not attack. All right, two, six, 10. Is plenty to kill a Wounded Hill Troll with Chieftain Oofdok as a shadow. That's nice to see gone. Sending him away. Uh, Clathriel drops my threat and draws me a card. Yeah, 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 feel good about this. So we're, we're on to stage two, uh, something like 45 minutes into this video. Oh, that's okay. Because this round in the refresh phase, thanks to Gladden Fields, I am actually going to have to take my threat up by a real point. Gandalf goes away. All of this mess refreshes. All right, draw my card for the round. I don't know that I can even use tree people right now. I'm not convinced there are Sylvan that aren't in my hand or on the board. I guess we could try it. Uh, well, first things first, Unlikely Friendship draws a card and gets me a resource on Galadriel. Spend two to put the Weavers back into play. Shuffles Unlikely Friendship and Gandalf back into the deck. Um, let me actually count how many Sylvan are left. I have one Nath Guide in the discard pile. Pretty sure I have a Nath Guide in my hand. I do. I have, I think, all three handmaidens in my hand. I'm not going to risk the uh, the tree people right now. Let's see, and how many unexpected, unlikely friendships are? Two of those are in the deck. Is not bad. I'd still like to get another one, though. So we're going to be revealing two cards per round. I can still refuse one with Furial. Uh, three, four, five... Um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, mostly fourteen, fifteen up against two. So first card, this is the one that I can ignore. Uh, keep that. 
All right, 15 up against six is nine progress. Three on Gladden Fields. And six on the main quest is not bad. Travel to Banks the Anduin for sure. Um, and I don't need to engage the Marshatter at all. So, Shadow Shadow. Uh, with Treebeard, defend one of them. Attacking enemy gets plus one is no big deal. Uh, we're ready, Caliborn, and have him defend the other. Goblin Sniper. All right, that's good to see. Yep, uh, Galadriel is going to draw me a card and peg my threat. So, refresh, draw a card. Uh, we are on round 16. Yup, that is the thing that happens. I should have two resources on all of my heroes and something like five on Treebeard. All right, first things first, unlikely friendship draws a card pops a resource on Galadriel, play a Weaver, put that friendship back in the deck. It's very likely at this point, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards left. have a Gandalf, but maybe we'll save him for the future. All right, so let's quest uh, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, nothing, 12, and I will finally drop these two Elrond's councils uh, to make it 14 and drop my threat also to 14. All right, 14 and 14. I get to refuse this card if I don't want it. Um, this is okay, so I'll take that. And oof, brown lands. All right, so 14 up against six, eight, 13 would make one progress. I don't really have a choice, we just make one. All right, one progress. Uh, if I get wrecked because of the brown lands, I am going to be pissed. But I got Gandalf in my hand, with plenty of resources, I think I'm okay. Uh, Galadriel draws me a card, pegs my threat, <laughs> tick up to round 17. Uh, and I should have picked back up a Weaver during that round. I'll draw my card for the turn, get some more resources. Okay, round 17, recording number three. We are many minutes into this video. I'm going to play, if I can find it again, Unlikely Friendship, drawing a card. Putting a resource on Galadriel. To drop down this weaver to shuffle that back into the deck. There are shockingly few cards remaining. I'm going to spend two off of Biffer. Search the top five cards. One, two, three, four, five. That's like two left that are not it. I pull out an unlikely friendship. Shuffle the rest of my deck. That's somewhat unclear to me how worthwhile this is. Uh, but I'm going to play Island Amid Peril to drop my threat down to a 13. Picking up one of these weavers. So I can Replay Unlikely Friendship, drawing a card and gaining a resource on Galadriel. Um, 
Oh, where did I put it? Replay the Weaver to shuffle this back into the deck. Play another unlikely friendship to draw a card, generate a resource on Galadriel. So here's the challenge. I need to quest a lot this round. I also have a Jubair in my hand who will make a lot of these defenses substantially safer in the future. So I think we're just going to end all of these shenanigans. Uh, so questing three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll send Treebeard. 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, I think one of these gets to stay up. So 15, 16, 17, 18. 21 with one option to refuse. So... I think I've seen all of the Necromancer's Reaches anyways. So here is a card that is a perfect card to see. This is never gonna hit me. All right, so card number two is Misty Mountain Goblins. And I am somehow even too low threat to have to deal with them. So I send uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23 up against uh, 10, 15, that means I will make eight points of progress, two here, six on the main quest. Thanks to the Anduin back on top. Travel to Brownlands, which makes them go away. Uh, and I will optionally engage these Misty Mountain Goblins. And one, two, three, that's all the shadow effects. Yep, all the shadow effects. So, uh, we're going to ready Elven King. I'm going to pick back up Galleon this time. We'll have Kelleborn defend these Misty Mountain Goblins. Gladden Fields, no damage. Uh, I think this was at three resources? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, let's see, let's see. So Undefended will kill a hero with some shadow effects, uh, but this one is Banks of the Anduin, so I'll take that one Undefended. Banks of the Anduin puts out a one damage. And I guess I'll have Treebeard defend this one. Technically gets plus one. And that was the shadow effect that would have cost me a hero if I let that one go undefended, so I'm very glad I did not. Uh, Misty Mountain Goblins did remove one point of progress, but Treebeard is going to kill the goblins. And I don't have enough. I mean, I could kill one of these crows. Uh, yeah, let's use two Treebeard resources to kill one of these crows in addition since I have to reshuffle this encounter deck anyways, making their surge less relevant. All right, uh, Calatriel draws me a card. It's another Gandalf. Moving to round 18. Uh, I think I would like to be done before this spin down die ticks up all the way to the Boros side but I don't know that I'm going to get there. Uh, resources. I have now six on Galadriel, which is fantastic. One on Treebeard. It's a little less so. My threat did not go up. Draw a card for the turn. All right. Um, let's spend five of these on that Jubair that I mentioned. Very, very useful ally. Play Unlikely Friendship to draw a card. And at this point, we put a resource on... Who needs it the most? Well, let's put this resource on Kettleborn. Spend two off of Biffer for another 
Galadrum Healer, which just takes this one damage off of Kettleborn. I have a Fane Voices in my hand. I have, oh yes, uh, I can play Galleon for free. He can <laughs> contribute some willpower. I guess I'll just keep this Gandalf in reserve. So three, four, five. Um, I'm still gonna do two cards. So I wanna commit pretty heavily. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, I guess seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, since everybody else can fight. All right, nineteen up against. I can discard this card, which I will do. Um, yeah, get rid of that one with Fury. Also, card number one is. Chieftain Uftak, card number two is a Dolgalter Beastmaster. So my 18 up against two, four, six, 12 is six whole progress, which is actually enough to clear out the Anduin Passage. To ambush on the shore, just have to kill all these enemies. All right, one, two, well, dealt those upside down, but that's okay. Evil Storm does absolutely nothing. And Despair removes all of these zero progress tokens. Uh, so now all I have to do is kill every one of these enemies. Just, just all of them. Yep. Yep, sounds good. All right, well, I'm gonna engage one enemy. Try and lighten the load a little bit. Uh, I guess I'll have Galadriel draw me a card and drop my threat now. That's feigned voices, that's pretty good. Uh, these should go this way. So one, one, and an extra one for the Beastmaster. Uh, yes, so. Jubair is going to defend the Beastmaster, and we're going to discard this Shadow Effect. Shadow Surge, okay. The other one is attacking enemy gets plus one, so one damage on Jubair. I'm going to bounce Galleon to ready Kelborn and have him defend the Crows. Hey, Necromancer's Reach. Not that it really matters at this point, uh, but all right. So Nath Guide shuffles the crows back into the deck. They're only ever gonna be a shadow effect now. Uh, and six damage kills this beast master. I just have to deal with Chieftain of Talk, Gladden Fields, Marshatter. Um, gonna retcon a little bit. I should have traveled to this Gladden Fields which is going to take my threat back up to 14 as we move into round 19. Yeah, for better or for worse, with a, a very low threat, I basically just have to wait here until all of these enemies are dealt with. Uh, but all right, so I refreshed. I draw the last card in my deck. It is an extra Elven King generate some resources. Uh, all right, well, let's play Galleon. Uh, do I want to Gandalf? I think I will Gandalf. Spend five, play Gandalf. Um, let's put four damage on Marsh Adder. It mostly doesn't matter. All right, so I'm up against seven, ten, effectively. So here is three, four, five. Uh, Gandalf doesn't have to exhaust. Nine, ten, eleven. No staging. Gladden Fields goes into the victory display. I'll choose to engage. Choose to engage Chieftain Uftak. Oh, 
let's have a Gladrum Healer defend, because I don't really care at this point. Attacking enemy gets plus one. Goodbye, Gladrum Healer. Chief the Nuftak gets a resource, which I will represent with this progress. Uh, but it absolutely doesn't matter, because here is four, five, six, seven, eight. A lot. Putting Chief the Nuftak in the victory display. Gandalf goes at the end of the round. We tick up to Boros. Uh, Galadriel can drop my threat, but not do much else. So. All right, the, the longest journey along the Anduin is almost over. Two and two and three, and I think this should be three on Treebeard, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna play Gandalf again. It's a different Gandalf. Uh, and we're actually going to have him kill the Marsh Adder so that I just don't have to deal with another round. <laughs> All right, so I can just send Gandalf for a whopping four up against two. It makes some progress, but it doesn't matter. Engage the Beastmaster, who gets two shadow cards. I'll defend with an irrelevant Galadrum healer. Let's see, shadow effects are nothing, but the healer is still very dead. Uh, and just everyone destroys the Beastmaster. And that is the end of the longest journey along the Anduin that I have ever played. <laughs> uh, because that's what happens when you play a very turtly sylvan deck. Um, I know there are plenty of more modern quests that would punish the slowness of this, but you know, it's, it's fun to have more of your deck in your hand than on the table. And the infinite looping of weavers that the Elven King makes possible is just really phenomenal for this style of dirtily deck. Um, I could have played infinite test of wills. I could have just cycled feigned voices forever. Uh, the easiest way is probably Elven King plus a uh, Steward of Gondor on a spirit hero so that you can just keep bouncing and playing those weavers. I just wish Sylvan had more hit points. This is really the one thing that I think lets down this ally package. But I mean, even then, right, you can bring Test to Will, which I did and mostly failed to use. Uh, all right, everyone, I'm going to go and let my computer spend way too long churning on transcribing these videos and <laughs> exporting them so that I can put them on YouTube. Thanks for watching.